Good day, Fish and Freaks. Welcome back to the channel. Starting off the day here at a parking lot in Austin, here at the hotel. Had a little bonfire last night at the ranch. Sitting right here with uh, Steven and Luckers TV. Waiting on Outlaw to come out today. So me and Luckers, we ventured to this area, Central Texas, uh, a few weeks ago. Caught my biggest bass of the year, an 812 True Mondo. And it was around uh, the full moon. It was a really good time to be out. Current conditions today, we're coming off of a nasty cold front, a couple days. Hopefully the water is gonna be warming up a hair and the fish are gonna be biting. I think it'll be more of an afternoon bite, but today we got a very special guest, my boy Outlaw. We all came down here for the music video. And now we're gonna go do a little bass fishing today while we're down here. Why not? Why not do it? I'm gonna take the silver bullet out, dump it in a lake close by, and see if we can get outlaw on some bass, you know? Give it a good sniff. I haven't sniffed one in a while, to be honest. I need, I need a good, like, semi lukewarm water sniff. These cold water bass, they don't smell as tasty. Let's get out of this citified stuff here with all this construction and get on to the beautiful green waters of the lake. That's where I feel at home. Baby. Definitely broke my screen yesterday. Broke that screen good, man. I can't really show them right now. I guess you could. we could show them on your channel. Yeah, so you we'll show them on. Check it out. You guys just have to come over to my channel and check it out. <laughs> Let us know right now if you think this connection needs to be permanently hooked up. Look how perfect this is, y'all. Uh, do you have a special name for this, the, uh, the dually? That's Ghost. Ghost, okay. Ghost and the Silver Bullet. Even the names are nasty together. Yeah. The Ghost Bullet, I think, is that's it's appropriate. They just match. We're gonna fish inside grass lines. We're gonna try it all. They got uh, hybrids out here. They have largemouth bass. There's even catfish. This is rather exciting because I don't think me and Outlaw have fished and it's been a while, man. Last time we were together, really, we were in a tree stump. Yep. Sitting in there waiting on them deers to come out, and you shot an absolute mongoloid. So, mongoloid. It was, man. Had things coming out of its damn ear holes. Didn't even know it was possible. Yeah. I hope we catch a bass like that today. I hope so too, man. It's got like one eye hanging out, tail's all beat up, about oh, ten yeah. and a half pounds. Just ready to fat. freaking rip her. <laughs> We're going to throw it some ripper magoos and give her a dangle. I like it. What is that, uh, Scottish Canadian? Walleye. Yeah. Y'all, my shoulder is a little sore from falling out of that ATV yeah. yesterday. But... <laughs> Been rubbing that thing all morning. Yeah, it's pr pretty purple. Anyway, we're gonna find some fish, and uh, we'll give you all an update when we hook into the first one. Get to twerking on them. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start out with a jerk bait, y'all. Classic Smithwick Rogue. Water is not as warm as I was hoping. This water is gonna be like 58. At least over 55 it looks like it's 53 which you know after that massive cold front i guess that is to be expected i have gotten to know that there are two grass lines one is about four to six feet the other one is about seven to nine maybe even 12 in some spots and that's where the hydrilla grass uh, is basically growing out in certain areas. So it's like bushels of grass, grass pods. It's the first thing we gotta figure out is which grass line do they wanna be in? I wanna go to two sonar, there we go. So I'm looking at down scan on the back graph right here. And then this is real time 2D sonar up front. And it's kind of nice having, the, having that extra view of the back sonar, especially when I've got old outlaw back here because then I can say, hey man, yeah, I've got, I've got fish down there, you know, right off the back corner or something. And especially for vertical fishing, you know, that really helps. Oop. Oh, there's one. Yep, up shallow, dude. Just got one. That, so that's the key. Okay, I just we just learned. That's our first real shallow cast. That's a tiny one though. Guy. Little buck. Dude, little, little bucker. Little buck. Taka. You're not quite sniff worthy yet. Don't haven't developed your scent. Smelled you anyway. Thanks for the twerk. Yeah, it was it was not too far off the the reed line, so maybe they did push up there, but now they're just kind of being finicky. We'll see. Here in the middle, There's see one him. fish sitting on this grass bed, and we'll see if Outlaw can get him. He's straight down. 
dude, it's a big fish. Right I'm, I'm gonna say it's it's a it's a four or five pounder. He's looking at your lure, dude. He's looking at your lure. There's multiple. There's multiple fish. I'm dangling it, man. Yeah, shake it, shake it. Can I drop it? Uh, I can't tell if those are all fish or one of you, one's your lure. Let it drop. They're definitely looking at your bait. Yeah, I think it's on the okay. bottom. Okay, all right, all right. So one of those was your bait. So there is some, there is a little bit of grass down there. So they're they're hiding in that grass. And then they come up out of it and they bing bong. They bing bong it. So this is like an isolated grass bed out here. Dude, finally got one of those fish. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. oh gosh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man. Man. I didn't see that. My bad, dude. I was trying to get a drop shot rigged up. And, uh, oh. Dude, nice fish, man. Golly. Bro, right in the nose. Dude. Did you, beans. did you see him on the graph? No, I didn't even see him. That's cool, man. And he just <laughs> Outlaw slow. just pulled that fish out of 23 feet of water using... A dangler. Using a freaking uh the old slim black shake. and blue. Black and blue slim shake. They wanted it a little finesse. Had a couple of now I think you can get the other fish to bite down there. Yeah, I think See? so. There's quite a few. And we've marked some bigger ones than this guy. That's a fat chunky one, man. Yeah, Give it, it a good old sniffer uh, Yeah. Oh, baby. Martha. Cool. Good things. Well, yeah, I got him one on a slim shake, y'all. On a new rig that I haven't even caught a fish on, the Tokyo rig. But what I'm gonna do is rig up a drop shot. Take that tag in, go back through the hole. And we got some of our little drop shot weights from Carl's. Shopcarls.com. This is some of the first prototypes of Dragon Drops right here. Had a huge bag of black and blue ones, just looking at them. Making sure they were good. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. I see one. He's nibbling. He's nibbling on it. He's nibbling on it for yep. real. Oh, oh I saw him hit it. You see it? See, pick up on it. Has he got it? Got him. Got him. Go. No, oh, he oh. come off, dude. Yeah. Crap! I saw him. You see, he's doing it. Yeah. He's going. Well, bam. Well, bam. Well, bam. Maybe he'll come over and eat mine now. He's like, I want me a little tiny nugget. Give me some. Do, do, do drop shot now? Yeah, I got a drop shot on. I'm out long. I'm hooked up, y'all. Oh, I ain't freaking filming. <laughs> oh, dang it. Nice fish, man. Tokyo rig strikes again. Slim shake. It's doing good. It's doing. Oh, good. it's a fatty. Better than the last one. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Outlaw dipper coming in with the wind. Nice, nice Need job, man. Worm. Need another worm. Yeah. I was telling Outlaw, I was like, man, I typically like to catch bass a little bit bigger than eight inches. And I got me a, about a 10 incher with a face full of drop shot tangles. Yeah. It's never fun. Little dude, little dude on the old dragon dropper. It's literally what I was doing, just dragging it down there. Oh yeah. Little windy bank jerk bait. Windy bank jerk bait. <laughs> he just slapped it. Boy, I worked hard for that one there. Easy on them treble hooks. Unsnag this dude real quick. Thanks, sir. Yep, old uh, old classic rogue got him. Oh man, just came over to Windy Bank, said screw it. Let's get over on some wind. Tucked a little jerk bait up tight on the reeds and wah bam. Out here taking a break for a sec. Because fishing is slow, y'all. Just a helicopter. Deciding it wants to uh, come in. Two days of helicopter action right over our faces. What's going on back here? Dude. Looking for you, dude. Looking for the outlaw. Who knows? Scaring the fish away, man. Yeah. They were biting so good. They were. Now nah, it's a little slow. I'm watching my own video. That's how bad it is. This son of a gun, they were dropping him 
into these trees over here or something. I don't know what he's getting, what he's picking out. There's a dude on the end of a string, not a string, but like a rope. Dropped him. They dropped him in there. Now he's got to go hide, and then they got to find him. That's what's going on. Yeah. Rescue. Dude, you look so good right now. Do I? Thanks. Man. Yeah, man. That good. Thanks, oh, shoot. We're in the weeds. Oh. How are we supposed to catch fish when they're doing helicopter training missions? The thump off the blades is going into the water, creating vibrations going into the fish's lateral lines, and tickling them the wrong way. You can't be fishing like this. I'm blaming it on the rescue missions over here. They're picking up humans out of the woods and dropping them back down. It's not making sense to me right now. If I was getting dropped into this stuff right here, I'd be a little freaked out. There's a lot of creepy crawlies that are leaving in there. EMT rescue, man, you guys, you got some nerve trying to learn how to rescue people. Oh my gosh, on my fishing day, <laughs> what's wrong with you? We're out. A helicopter in, a, in Southwest about to collide. Southwest Airlines flying over with your peanuts in the cabin. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we're out of here. All right, outlaw, we're done. I'm going to drive my truck into the lake. Screw it. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost lost my hat. It's a sign. Look at this rig, y'all. Isn't it just, it looks like it was meant to go together, man. Do wanna show y'all something that I thought wasn't gonna be cool at first, but now after using it, I'm like, wow, uh, I want more of these, especially for storing uh, spinner baits at home. So really excited about a upcoming partnership uh, with Bass Mafia. So I've used some of their boxes before. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with them. Myself, the rest of the Guggen Squad, um, we're working with Bass Mafia this year. We're working on some special boxes with them, but they hooked us up with some of their just original boxes, their coffin boxes. And this one right here is the, uh, well, it's called the Spinnerbait Box, or the Blade Coffin is the official name. So when I first opened it up, I was like, eh, I don't know, how, how are spinnerbaits gonna, gonna fit in there? And I'm showing you this because I'm literally putting up spinnerbaits right now and this is how easy it is and for a spinnerbait guy like me it keeps them super organized so all you got to do is pinch these little pouches right here and it's on a rail system inside you pinch it and you drop them in there you got to have two hands to do this but you open it up like that and you drop your spinnerbait in so let's see if i could just shove one in here for you Put it in like that and then the blades and everything just collapse down beautifully and i've got three sixteenths ounce all the way up to one ounce spinner baits in here y'all like i didn't think that look at this crazy spinner bait this is a huge spinner bait giant magnum but that that thing fits in there so you can fit a ton of your baits in here and then you can organize it if you want to have multiple boxes. You can use it for, you know, Colorado blade spinner baits, your, you know, whatever. Favorite clear water spinner baits, dirty water spinner baits, stuff like that. I've just found this box to be freaking awesome. And another thing you can do with it, I took, uh, I took the little, little rod out of it and I just made it a line box. So I just put a bunch of fluorocarbon in the box like that and just holds it beautifully and you can even use it to spool. So with this one, I'm fitting like an entire spinnerbait collection in one box. So really cool little box. Just wanted to sh throw that out there for you guys. If you're a spinnerbait fishing fool and you're a fishing freak like I am, you want to have your spinnerbaits organized, ready to dangle. You could also put chatterbaits in there the same way. So really cool. Bass Mafia, thinking ahead. Robin Stevan taking off for the night. Yeah. We gotta, go, we gotta go get some diesel now. We've had enough gas in our life for today. I think it's diesel time. Yeah, you guys can't see me right now. We're outlaw, but I'll just let you know in this darkness moment that uh, Rob pretty much farted the whole time over here. <laughs> and it was, uh, 
it's some of the worst stuff Dude, you've ever I have heartburn, I think, from his farts. Right. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the birds, they are singing. Y'all, we woke up this morning, long travel night, finally got in. The silver bullet and the, the ghost, they were so long together that we could not actually get it in the driveway. I had to literally stop and take my truck, put it back onto the silver bullet to back it into the driveway because it was just, it was too much with all the trees here at the treehouse. I felt like yesterday it was so windy. It was kind of just blowing through. It's, it's calm right now. It's overcast. The humidity is in the air. And we're gonna try something else today. We're not gonna go bass fishing. We're gonna go multi-species river dangling. And that is where I'm gonna leave you today, fishing freaks. Make sure to keep it locked right here. You don't wanna miss the next fishing trip. And I will see you guys on that next dangle later. Thank you.